Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Faithfully Asia. And get your popcorns, girls, because I got mine. It's about to be a movie. So, dolls, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Kyra Sharp. My girl really came through for me. I was about to buy a whole new camera and all I really needed to do was adjust the settings and she was so helpful. I just want to give her a shout out. She is such a helpful person. If you guys aren't already following her, make sure y'all follow her. Her channel is very dope and I really am so proud of her success and her growth. Back to this movie, back to this movement I'm about to create. So this is the unit I'm going to be reviewing from App Sister Wig today. And while this may look like a regular straight unit, it's not... Your girl got a full lace, okay? Y'all don't understand how excited I am to be reviewing a full lace unit. These are so rare. Like, I don't remember the last time I got a full lace unit. And when I did, I kept it because I didn't know when was the next time I was going to get one. And it's been, I want to say, like, at least a year. So it's been a minute. These are really hard to come by. But guys, let's go ahead and jump into this review. Okay guys, let me go ahead and give y'all the tea on a full lace unit. For those who don't know, who's never had one, a full lace unit isn't technically full lace. It's usually lace in the front and a mesh net that mimics the appearance of lace in the back. This particular unit, however, has lace in the front, lace in the back, and that mesh net is around the middle. There are also two combs on the side and a comb in the middle, which I do suggest removing to prevent that line of demarcation you will see if wearing your wig parted down down the middle. I'll explain later. So let's take a look at the construction of the cap. As you guys can see, it does come pre-plugged and the knots are bleached. To demonstrate the beauty of the full lace wig, I'm going to part it down the middle. And as you guys can see, there's that line of demarcation that I spoke of that shows where the comb is sewn into the middle of the cap. So I would suggest removing it. You can also add some concealer to the part in space to make sure the part in space is in uniform in color from beginning to the end. Let's go ahead and try this wig on. So as you guys can see, this hairline doesn't have too much dips and ridges within it. And the hairline does come slightly lower on my forehead than I would like. I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a second. So first I'm just cutting little slits in this wig just to make cutting the lace a lot more easier once I put it on my head. Before I do that, I am going to cut the lace off the back of the unit. Now it's ready for me to put it on. Before I apply this unit, I am going to clean my skin to make sure there's no type of makeup or residue on it. And I decided to lay this unit down using my Bold Hold Liquid Gold. You can use whatever adhesive you want to lay it down. This Bold Hold Liquid Gold and Lay Spray provides a really good coverage in my opinion. And it's good to last for about a week without actually having to apply glue to your hair. So now you always want to make sure you comb the lace in when applying your unit as that helps the lace to melt in with your skin to give it more of a natural look. Go ahead and tie the front of the hairline down for about five to 10 minutes and then you're ready to proceed with the install. Now, I always like to go over any dried up adhesive on my forehead with a damp rag just to remove that. And as you guys can see, before I cut the front of the wig, I am cutting this unit slightly behind its natural hairline, simply because I don't like when wigs are way down on your forehead. That's my personal preference. Of course, wear your wigs however you see fit. Now, my leg is hurt for those who didn't know, so I had to take a break, aka go take a nap, and before I resumed installing this unit. Now, I'm just applying a little bit of my hairspray Fantasia Liquid Mousse to the front of the hairline just to get those little pieces of lace that like almost always refuse to lay down. 
So as I put the elastic band back on, I'm gonna proceed with the parting. Now we already know this is a full lace unit, so of course you could part this wig wherever you want. That is the beauty of this unit. The styling limit are endless. But you guys know I'm a side part girl, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my side part. After I put my side part, I applied some of my concealer to the parting space. And then I'm just going to go on top of this unit using my hot comb just to make sure everything is flattened. Just a little tip, dolls. If you don't do anything else, make sure your wig is flat because we don't go for the wiggy wig look, okay? To clean up that part in space, I am going to apply some of this root touch up to the part in area. As you guys see, I was a little messy with applying it today and I did get some of that on the part in space, but don't fear, this is temporary dye and it's easily covered up and concealed with the concealer. As I mentioned, having your install flat is ideal to prevent that wiggish look. So I'm just going in with some of my wax stick and going on top of that with the flat iron to make sure that I get this unit as flat as possible. Now it's time for me to take off the elastic band, guys, and I'm gonna apply just a little bit of my concealer to the front just to blend everything in with this Swiss lace. And I did spray some of that Even New York hairspray on my comb, and that's to help lay down some of the flyaways that are found throughout this unit. Now guys, this is the final look. You guys can see it's a very natural looking install. The hairline is really nice. And let me turn around because I have to show you guys the lace because that's the beauty of it. As you guys can see, this unit can be worn up in a ponytail. If you wanna wear this unit braided, you can also braid it. The styling options are endless. Basically, all the limitations that you normally face with wearing a wig are obsolete when you're dealing with a full lace. You can wear it up in a high ponytail. You can wear it in a low ponytail. You could wear a half up, half down. You could wear a low half up, half down. Anything your mind can think of, you can do it. To lay the unit down in the back, if you don't want to use bobby pins, you can use some lace tape to make sure it lays down when you wear it up in a ponytail. Now, when combing this unit, I did experience some shedding and tangling. All information for this unit, as always, is gonna be linked in the description box down below. Before I get out of here, I'm gonna need your help naming this unit. Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed in my last video. The new name and the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen. Guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, hit that subscribe button before you leave. And be sure and check out my lifestyle channel, Being Faithfully Asia. And until next time, stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.